Earlier this year, Google released a couple of machine automation based tools for your search campaigns. The first was automatically created assets. If you're interested in that, you can check out this video right here. And the second is a new campaign acquisition goal, which as Google says, combines smart bidding along with your first party data to help you find new customers through search. So in this video, I want to run through what that new customer acquisition goal is, how it works and get you started using it in your account. I wanted to start by looking at the announcement from Google, just so you could see what I was referencing. The goal for this new tool is to connect with new customers on search. And there's going to be a case study in here also. I think the thing that is most useful is that you can see the two different goals that we have here. You can bid for a value for a new customer, which effectively means bidding higher for new customers than existing customers or an unknown user or new customers only where you're only bidding for those new customers. So these are the two pieces we're going to run through and to do it, we have a few things we need to set up. So first I want to hop into a client account and I'm going to start the campaign creation process. So I'm going to come over here and click the blue plus create a new campaign. And now we get to choose the objective for our new campaign. Both methods for this are going to be compatible with different campaign objectives, but the easiest way for me to walk you through it at a high level is going to be create a campaign without a goals guidance. This new bidding option is available for performance max or search. And since I like search campaigns better, I'm going to stick with that. We will continue using the account default goals, but we did just release a video talking about what these are and how to set them up. So if you're curious about that, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. For now, I'm going to click continue, give it a name and click continue. I'm going to skip over the bidding because the piece that I want to focus on is this customer acquisition down here where it says optimize campaign for acquiring new customers. And I started here because I think a lot of people probably will start setting up a new campaign. They'll see this and they'll get really excited about it. But here's the problem. As soon as I check that box, there's going to be a lot of different error messages that come up to use the customer acquisition goal. We have to enter a value for new customers. We need to include an audience segment with at least a thousand active members. We have to change the bid strategy type to maximize conversion value. And the conversion goals do not align because we're not using purchases as the conversion action here, but that's only one of the options. That's just bidding higher for new customers versus existing customers. That's still bidding for everybody. The other option is to bid only for new customers and not actively target any existing customers. So let's check the box here. And now we can't do that at all. And this is why I wanted to start here because there are lots of things we need to set up before we can take advantage of this new customer acquisition goal. This error says that we need to have an audience segment of at least a thousand active members as a customer list. And you'll remember that's one of the other errors from the previous section too. So rather than solve this problem here, we're going to go into the conversions portion of the interface and set up the customer acquisition goal with all of the bells and whistles so we can start to leverage it in this campaign. So that's going to be up in tools and settings, click on conversions. I'm going to discard this draft and depending on your Google ads account, You'll likely see this customer acquisition piece with this little yellow error message somewhere on this page for this account. It happens to be right at the top, but I have other accounts that have this message all the way down at the bottom of the page. So it's kind of hiding a little bit, but I'll pretty much guarantee you this box is somewhere on this summary page of your conversions. So let's get started setting it up by click setup. And the first thing we need to do is define an existing customer list. If we take a step back and think about it, Google's trying to help us acquire new customers either by bidding only for new users or by bidding more aggressively for people who are not marked as customers. So to do that, they have to know who our customers are in the first place. This is where our audience segments come in. So if we go into this field here, it'll default you to this search page where you'll see previously selected segments that you can use to define your customer lists or you can click the browse option since I haven't set this up yet. And now you can start to find the different audience segments that you have either through your Google ads account based on website visitors or customer uploads. And unfortunately this account doesn't have them, but it would basically be another setup right here where it would say customer lists as opposed to website visitors, or you can also utilize audiences that are from your Google analytics accounts, whether they're universal or GA4. Ideally, now that it is June of 2023, as of the recording and release of this video, you're using GA4 because that is coming down really quickly and universal analytics is not going to be useful. The only caveats here are that we need to have at least a thousand active members to be eligible for this customer acquisition goal. 
we have a ton of different audiences available in this account. So I'm just going to click the ones that I know make the most sense. And you can see that the audience has been accepted up at the top as eligible. If you add in another audience that doesn't have enough users, it will tell you that it's not eligible. So you need to make sure that you have only eligible audiences here with enough users in them, and you can add up to 10 audiences. For now, I'm going to delete this one that's not eligible. And then we're going to scroll down to the next section. And this is where we can add additional conversion value for new customers. This section is going to be most likely valuable for e-commerce accounts because it's based on customer value. But depending on how well you know your business, for lead generation, it can also be useful for you. I think the thing that helps is this example off on the right. If a customer's purchase conversion value is $96, and you know that new customers are actually worth an additional $63.80, based on this example, you can add that value in here, making the new customer value $160.46. So the number that you're trying to add in this field here is the incremental value above what an existing customer would be worth to convert again. So depending on how your company and your marketing team values existing customers with repeat purchases or generating business from new customers, you can set an additional incremental value on top of the regular conversion value. For now, just so we can keep it moving, I'm gonna keep this number in here and click apply. And now you can see we have the customer acquisition section set up in the account. This does not work like the conversion categories and conversion goals, even though it's on the same page, which is a little confusing. And you can tell that because it doesn't say edit goal, it just says edit. So it's just a different portion of the interface. And if you ever need to change it or update your customer list, something along those lines, all you have to do is click edit. It'll take you right back to the same builder. So now that we have this set up, we can go back to our campaign builder. And now we're right back on that same bidding page and we can check the box next to customer acquisition. And now you'll see that our errors are only a little bit different and scroll down a little bit. Now we only have the issue in this account that we are not utilizing the purchase conversion action and not utilizing the maximize conversion value bidding strategy. Once you have those two things set up, you'll be able to opt into this section and drive business from existing customers or people who are already in that customer list but then also bid more aggressively for new customers that are not in that section. You'll notice here that the additional conversion value for new customers is set at the account level, like we just did in the conversion section. But if you needed to set an individual goal for this campaign, you just need to click the pencil. You'd opt in to use a different value only for this campaign. And then you can set a different value here if it deviates from that account level $63.80. For now, since I can't use it anyway, I'm just gonna click cancel. And now let's take a quick recap of the other one, which is going to be the only bid for new customers. Here, we don't need to do anything different. This ad is only going to target new customers, regardless of your bidding strategy. And we don't need to augment bids because there is no existing customer to bid for. After that, you would continue to set up your campaign as normal. And then once you launch your campaigns, everything is going to run and either optimize for only new customers like we have it set here, or it's gonna get more aggressive in trying to bid higher for new customers. Overall, this is a really simple adjustment that's being made in Google. And I think it's pretty helpful, honestly, especially for people who want to be more aggressive for new customers, but are utilizing automated bidding. In the past, we could have used an audience layer targeting existing customers and simply bidding down for those users. But with automated bidding, the bid modifiers at the audience layer don't actually apply to anything. They just get ignored based on the automated bidding strategy you have in place. With this, you can make sure that you're getting more aggressive for new users who are not in that existing customer list and have a larger share of voice in trying to attract them and acquire them as customers. If you have any additional questions about this customer acquisition setting or anything else in Google Ads campaign setup, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.